to install reclaimed parquet flooring without removing the bitumen. Okay, so when we first moved into the bungalow, the kitchen had original parquet flooring and we were over the moon. We were like, it must be under the carpet in the bedroom. However, when we came here, we lifted up the carpet and unfortunately we were presented with a concrete flooring. Concrete flooring out of everything. So I thought, our, ch our plans have changed for this bungalow so many times. So at the time of buying the parquet floor in, we thought we were gonna knock the wall through the kitchen and this room that I'm currently in now and have an open plan kitchen diner. So I was like, let's get parquet, because if we do do that, then we'll just have to fill in the floor where the parquet, the wall used to be, sorry. So I went on Facebook Marketplace and I was glad I did anyway, because it was actually a really affordable way, in my opinion, to have wooden flooring because wood floor it ain't cheap so to do this whole room it would have cost about 400 pounds in a hardwood floor so i went on facebook marketplace i found a certain amount of square footage for 130 pounds went up to the lady's house and, and popped it in the back of the car and brought it home before we put it down i had absolutely no idea how to put it down i did just think it's probably just going to be glue and then i started looking a little bit more into it and it was like we'd have to scrape the bitumen off every single piece. I'd already bought it and I was thinking like, should I sell it? Should I just get rid of it? Should I put it in a skip? What should I do? And then I went on Google, I had a little look around and I found this product here called Lel Col, I think. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but it is an adhesive that basically melts the bitumen at the bottom and you do not have to scrape anything off, which is like music to my ears. So so, so far so good, absolutely nothing has moved. It is like rock solid, and apart from the fact that the two different pieces of parquet were a little bit higher than the other, it's totally flat on the most half of it. So I'm really impressed with it, and I just wanted to put this out there. If you see this, and you were thinking about getting reclaimed parquet, and you were gonna scrape off all the bitumen off every single piece, don't bother, buy this product. It is expensive, I think it was like a hundred pounds, we needed two, so that did increase my cost, but still, I'm talking 360 pound here, that is with the adhesive and the wood, whereas it would have been 400 pound just for the flooring if we'd gone for hardwood flooring in here without any of the adhesive or the underlay or anything like that. After Googling, we discovered that the best way to ensure a straight parquet flooring is to start in the center of the room Room, find the center of the room and work your way back and then you want to go outwards so that when you hit the wall the chances of you being straight are high and if there are any anomalies then they are towards the end of the room where you can barely notice any sort of unstraightness so then it came to doing the edges and we started to saw the parquet floor in with a handsaw and honestly it was almost impossible so we decided to bite the bullet and go and buy an electric mitre saw from Screwfix. i think it was like 46 pound so this is currently the bedroom floor we have cut all the pieces so they're not stuck down which is what i'm probably thinking why is there massive gaps we haven't actually stuck them down yet basically we ran out of adhesive which is so annoying um, so we've had to buy some, so we've waited for that to come. But this is what I really want to talk about, is this fantastic gadget here. Um, honestly, we wouldn't have been able to do the floor without this. So you just cut it down like that and you get lush, straight cuts, which is exactly what we needed because we were using a jigsaw and honestly, the cuts were a bit rogue. So, and we needed to have like super clean lines for this part. So our build is kicking off. So if you are enjoying this type of content, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification because that way you'll get notified every time I post a new Renault update video. If you're enjoying these videos as well, let me know down in the comments and I will reply to all of them. And if you're doing a Renault, no doubt you will use it so many times over and over. So we've bought it and I was a bit apprehensive because I was like, Again, this is just increasing the cost of the flooring, basically. But actually, I've used that mitre saw numerous times. It's done some really good cuts for me. So if you are thinking about doing parquet floor yourself, I would definitely invest in an electric saw because you will be so thankful. And it went through the parquet like butter. It was amazing. Okay, so once it was all down and glued, 
it still looked like crap basically so we had to hire a sander and then this is where we made a massive mistake really we should have gone around every single piece of parquet feeling for nails uh staples anything any sharp corners we did do it a little bit but we probably should have done it way more rigorously and gone through literally every single piece but unfortunately we didn't so we hired a sander from hss hire and it basically just was not working we'd hired one before on the other parquet floor room and it went over like a breeze because the floor was already laid and it was clean and whatever. This, however, it was an actual nightmare. After trial and error, trial and error, what, what kept happening is there's a big cylinder like this on the bottom of a sander that goes round and sands with the sandpaper. And basically the sandpaper was either getting caught on the corners, on some of the nails, staples that we couldn't see because the floor was really dirty and sometimes some of the bitumen was stuck on the top of it so that would hide the fact that there were staples or anything in them. So we had tried that and it kept blowing the sandpaper off so I would advise if you are thinking about doing a parquet floor just make sure it's prepped before you run the sander over it. So we decided to give the sander back and we bought an Orbit, Orbit sander, which is a hand sander, and we literally just got down on our hands and knees for days hand sanding the floor. I was told that apparently some bitumen can contain asbestos, so to wear the protective gear. I did have a Cardiff asbestos removal company come and check out our Artex once. So I asked him about the bitumen and he said it's very, very rare that there is asbestos in the bitumen. And if it is, it's like so small amount that it shouldn't cause any harm. So I felt a lot better about that then. So yeah, we had hand sanded single piece finish on it like I was actually shocked it was stunning I absolutely love it it's still my favorite this is my favorite room I love the floor I love the color of it so once it was completely sanded I obviously gave it a clean we took the old skirting boards off I put new ones on that was a massive mistake because we've actually never properly fitted the new ones we literally just glued them on and we haven't finished but there's no point now because it's all getting destroyed anyway because we've had planning permission. I would just leave your skirting boards on and maybe just get a, a bead in to go around the edge. And then I sealed it. I use Rustin's var floor varnish. I absolutely love this product. It's done a really good job. I actually only did it once in the floor in here and it's held up really well. It's been about a year now. It still looks great. I've run the, the, mop, the, the steam mop over it quite a few times and it still looks fantastic. And I know this product on the floor will help hold its value if i want to rip it up and sell it once we're doing the extension i know i'll make my money back and i think that's a good thing about hardwood floors is it is just a good product that everybody always wants a lot of people are trying to put original features back in their home and i think somebody somewhere hopefully will get a lot of love out of this parquet floor just like we have well i hope that helps so if you are thinking about doing your reclaimed parquet flooring project and you were dreading scraping off the bitumen try this product first it is a little bit pricey but it works like we have had no issues the floor is completely flat it just it's just amazing and we didn't have to scrape the worst part was the sanding so if you can hire a professional company to do it for you i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed le learning a bit more about parquet flooring and let me know if you're thinking about doing one of these projects in the comments have you had to scrape bitumen off the bottom of your parquet floor let me know down below and i will see you in the next video